Sunday morning and I had my grandkids for the weekend, which means that nothing got done on the weekend. So today is a pick me up day, or is a pick up day, I'm trying to get all of our stuff done. It's a busy, crazy day on the day by day farm. We're headed to the tech store, my favorite place. Girls are still doing homeschool, so I'll be with her little tutor who I love and Gabby by herself because she's a smart girl. And Sophie's a smart girl too, don't get me wrong, don't put words in my mouth. It's nice to have someone else that she can relate to and, and like it's just so wonderful having this girl help her. Anyways, we're headed to the tax store and we'll show you what we're getting when we get there. I'm headed into the pet store right now to get some stuff for Trixie, our bearded dragon. You guys, I've been thinking about my dream list of all the new animals that I would love to bring into our lives. There are a couple things in the store that I want to show you, um, so let's go. I really want a ferret. There were ferrets here. I think they sold, you guys. The baby ferrets all sold. I also want a hand-tamed baby bird. I know I haven't had good luck with birds in the past, but I still really want one. Okay, so they didn't have any crickets. The crickets come in on Mondays. So I came on Monday. But they don't come in until later on Monday, so I ended up getting some more. Uh, of these babies. You see them? Big worms. She likes these better anyway, but I like to give her a variety. So I definitely like wish I had a bird still. I definitely wish I had a baby ferret. What, what's on your list of other animals to get? Animals to get? Absolutely nothing. Yeah, Sam doesn't want any more animals. <laughs> but I want a baby. I want a ferret. I want another bird. I want a uh, miniature pig like the little tiny ones they're not super tiny but they're not pot belly pigs or the julienne pigs or i forget the name of them but there's another one that's smaller the one similar to the kind that they have at the pasofino farm but i also want a couple of goats and i've always wanted a goat you guys have seen in other videos in the past where we've rescued bottle babies goats like usually males that are going to go for meat we found them we rescued them and then we found them like forever homes so i've always wanted a baby goat one like pygmy goat so i like small the small breeds of everything they're my favorite so those i think are all the animals that i dream of like that i would love to have like i would love to have them they're like on my list and when we get home i'll ask the girls what they would like like i think gabby would like a snake but Sadly, I don't see it happening for us. Like, our friends are bought a horse farm and they're like making like a hobby farm and they're getting things like more animals and stuff. But for us, I feel like we are at horse shows a lot in the summer and we want to do other things. And winter is so awful for us. Like, I get so cold in winter, I don't like doing chores in winter. Neither do the girls. So, I feel like we are capped at horses and chickens and dogs. Yeah. I think that's what we're at. I think this is where we are. I think we're at a point in our lives where we just have to realize that we are not going to be getting a ton of different animals. I want to go to as many horse shows as we can in between the next four years before Gabby goes away to college. I wanna hit the horse shows and hit them hard and unfortunately I think that means that we're gonna have to cap out on all the animals that we can get. We've hit every ye yellow light. We've hit every yellow light, Tim. Why are we hitting all the yellow lights? Because they're not green. Yeah. So anyway, I want to put our resources, our time, and our energy in it to the animals that we have. And I think it takes a big person to realize our limit. And I think it's because I really want to love the animals that we have without feeling overwhelmed, if that makes sense. And right now, I don't feel overwhelmed mostly <laughs> i always like to check out the horse outside the store today he's sporting mustard yellow if you're into that i love that it's cute i do not know what it is but it's adorable okay so i'm in the in the supplement section again this is where we live now it feels like so this is something i've been looking for and now they sell it here so that's good to know whenever i have time i like to spend as much time as i can Checking out all the supplements and seeing what they have here. Oh, so they do have pine tar here. And I'm looking for a poultice. A medicated poultice. It's about time they did this. I finally put this rock salt. Himalayan rock salt. In the feeder now. Yeah. The salt. So much better. 
Yeah, about the time they did this. This is what Penny needs now. They did not have any crickets. So we just got more worms. We have so many worms, you guys. So basically, with oh, the worms. That one has the most holes, I think. So. so basically, these are like these little, I don't even know what they're called, mealworms or something. Oh, there's a white one. Yeah. And so we put Wait, like. Can I? Yeah, go ahead. We put a potato in there. And then like they eat it and it gives them fluid too. But the stuff that's in there is their food. They eat that to grow. And then they eat the potato too and it also is like a drink for them. But watch. I'll show you guys in a minute and you'll see like the potato will be covered in worms. See? They're all going over to it already. So there was, so this is our old bucket of them and there was a potato in there on top and they pull it right, ooh gross. They pull it right underneath and that's, they ate it. Like that's how much of it they ate. Isn't that crazy? Are we giving them a new one? Yeah, we can give them a new one. But there's not as many in this one. So it's literally been like two minutes since I looked at it already and that's what they look yeah, like. This one, so. Like that's a craziness. And they'll eat that potato so fast. Yeah, and this is our other bucket. So we're just going to dump them in there. There you go. Enjoy life. Doesn't that look freaky though? Can you guys see it? All the sand moving? Like that's what nightmares are made of. You have to show Daisy. Okay. These are not for you. These are not for you. These are not for you. Nothing on the counters is for you. This is our counting counter surfer dog. This is what she does. Whenever we eat, she's like, what's, what's for me? <laughs> she's so cute. You're so cute. Yeah. I ended up buying a bottle of this um, quiescence for Storm because you guys know I like him to have it so I always bring it to the other barn so that he always has it. Even though he's being leased out I like to be, I like to make sure that he has what he needs and not, I like don't like to put people out like I want him to have it so I just buy it for him because I don't want to make other people buy stuff for our horse even though they're using them that goes beyond like food and water. The other thing I wanted to get, you guys have heard like for the last week I've been needing these horse treats and uh, they're at only one specific store near us so and we never go there so we ended up going there stopping there on our way home. These are for the girls but like I said before this bag it's huge it's 10 kilograms 10 kilograms so that's like 22 pounds you guys 22 pounds of horse treats and it cost 25 bucks, 28 bucks actually, it just went up, 28 bucks. Uh, the treats that I buy at the tax store are like a quarter of the size and they're $22. And this is $28 and it's like four or five times the bag. So it is worth it for me. Sam also bought a few things and I'll show you when we get down at the barn, he bought like a salt lake and stuff. And Macy here is like, what is for me? Did you buy me anything? Yeah, did you miss out? Like, even though she's old and kind of feeble, she fell down the stairs the other night. She, I forgot her down here. Like, she wants to sleep with me. I forgot to bring her up with me, and she thought I went to bed without her, and so she tried to come up the stairs. All of a sudden, I heard clunk, 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 and she, like, fell down the stairs, rolled down the stairs. Um, Her nails still grow, like, so fast. I gotta cut them again. I gotta cut your nails right now. Yeah. All right, so welcome to our very first ever fidget training video we've trading. never did trading 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 anyway i'm in sophie's room sophie and i are in the process of rearranging her room let me give you a little mini tour because it's not done yet you guys know sophie has a big room all that area over there but right now we are just focusing on she still has her ribbon wall and no, that's not moving or else it's gonna take a year yeah to that's not moving and then she has her bed over here and her night table so her bed is here with all her uh, squishmallows. squishmallows and then she has her TV at the end of her bed like this which is so cool I love that I would love to lay in bed and have my TV set up like that and just watch it like that to me is perfection so now we have plans for the other half of her room don't look over there it's still messy we're gonna fix it up and then we'll show let you guys like a big huge room reveal after she's done so right now she wants to trade fidgets these are all my fidgets do I get to keep these no Oh, <laughs> these are all my fidgets for the game, and those are all her fidgets. Do you have a lot more fidgets than this? She has millions of fidgets, you guys. Jacob was here, and he said, and I can't even open that 
Jacob was here on the weekend and he said, I wish I had Sophie's fidgets because she has so many fidgets. Did you let him in my room? No. And even Molly's here and she's like, I want all the fidgets too. Daisy was actually scared of my room because she did not know whose room it was because we moved everything around. So last night we moved just all this section around and Daisy was freaking out. She was like, help! Where am I? <laughs> and then I feel like she tries to be a slob just like he. <laughs> yeah. Because she takes my stuff and puts it in her cage. Yeah. Her cage is a mess, just like my room. Yeah. She, they're both hoarders. Hoarder Sophie and Hoarder Daisy. How does this work, Sophie? Um, uh, you put the fidget you're trading down, and then, um, you, uh, say trading this fidget. Okay. So Sophie's trading this one, and I am trading a pineapple. Add. Add. And this little pop it. Simple dimple. Simple dimple. Mm. I'll accept. Really? I gave you two things and all I got was this dumb butterfly? This actually has really good pops. Oh, this has really good pops. Oh, it was worth it. Sad. Was it worth it? You scammed me. I scammed you? Okay. So this is my favorite one. What's this called? Uh... Um, a spinner dimple. It's a spinner dimple. So it spins and it pops. Wait. Okay, what will you trade me for my spinner dimple? This pop it. Add. I want a squishy ball. Oh, I was going to keep saying add until you said no because I want to keep this, but I really love a squishy ball. Hey, no touching. Oh, sorry. All right, I accept. I got this, you guys. Can I keep this? No. <laughs> I'm going to try this Orby Stress Ball. Orby Stress Ball. All right, and I will give you this game board. Ah, uh, this is legendary. This is legendary. No, this is legendary. That's legendary? So does that mean I have to add more? Yes. Oh, all right. So here's a heart. Here's my heart, Sophie. Oh, this is cool. Add. Here's my crab. My crab simple dimple. My crab dimple. My crab dimple. So all this for- Add. This is legendary. That's legendary. All right, I got a Christmas tree. Add all your fidgets and I'll accept. Okay. Even my llama? Mm -hmm. Not this. <laughs> you <All right>. scammed. <laughs> you scammed me? All right, that's fine. But I got all I wanted you anyway. I like the squishy balls. They're my favorite. <laughs> Whoa, go slow. Holy heck. Go slow. Yeehaw. Sam. Stop! Holy moly. All right, so we're getting ready to go to the barn. I have to get all the stuff that we need to get to take with us. And I realize I do not have my warm pants on, so I'm gonna freeze. It is snowing. Whoa, I have our treats. Oh man, it is cold out. So we're getting ready to go and we're gonna be late, like back late tonight. So we're bringing the horses in. And they're like, oh, thank goodness, Laura, I got covered in snow. Yeah, you got covered in snow, Penny Pickle. Look at them, you can tell, like, they're ready to come in, holy moly. All right, let's go. Go, princess. Uh-oh. She won't go because you're there. No, you're there. Oh. One furry, snowy beast. Two snur snowy furry beast. Three furry snowy beasts. Wow, slippery. slippery. Wow. Good night, Penny. I love you. I got distracted. I can't remember what I was coming down here to bring. Get. Shoot. We are in the process of like moving our barn stuff around, like cleaning up the barn. Every time we come down, we like move a little bit more stuff and do a little bit more stuff. Treats. I forgot I had a pocket full of treats. Wanted to give to her. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, Laura, I'm so snowy. Oh, 
My goodness, it's hard too. It's kind of a blizzard. I don't know if lessons are canceled. But nobody's messaged me and told me it's not. So we're going. We're gonna do it. You ready to ride? Yeah. You ready to ride? Yeah. You ready to ride? They're half dead. A weekend with the grandkids is like we need a vacation from the weekend, you guys. Well, we're gonna do it. We are determined to do it. We got Storm's quiescence. We do carrot stretches with our horses before we ride and after we ride because it's good for them. It benefits them to be able to like stretch out and and it's good for them. Our chiropractor and massage therapist always recommends it. So I bring friend of mine, Sophie riding in different stirrups. So we've got those are in the back of the trunk. Um, we also are bringing like a liniment that we always put on Chino whenever she rides him because it helps him like keep his muscles limber and we forgot that it's in the house. So we got to go back and get that when Sam comes to the car. And then also we have a half pad that that Brandon wants to try with, no not a half pad, a riser, riser that Brandon wants to try with Sophie riding Chino. We're ready you guys. We have to take so much stuff with us to riding lessons. So am I riding Chino today or Finn? I think, I think you're riding Finn. I think it's a Finn day. So I know like how, what we're doing is all confusing and stuff right now, but um, Sophie's rotating riding a Chino and a Finn. And she rode Chino in the last lesson. Did you ride Chino in the last yeah. lesson? Yeah, and then uh, today she's gonna ride Finn. And uh, Gabby is riding, who are you riding? Finn. Finn, Finn and Finn. What, 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 what? This is a magnesium powder. Oh, magnesium powder. Is this powder. the powder or the big bag, right? This powder? No. It should have blue in it. Oh. No. <laughs> You're gonna give them diatomaceous earth. <laughs> it's in one of the buckets underneath the, underneath the table. Close the door. <laughs> We're freezing. Oh my gosh. Sam had told our friends that he would bring some magnesium. A lot of you guys are like, Sometimes we get messages from people that say that we drug our horses. We are so against drugging our horses, even like for pain, because we want to know when our horses have pain so that we can fix it, not drug them. But quiescence and it, and what Sam's getting for them is magnesium. Magnesium is just a mineral that you have in your body naturally, and some horses can be deficient, just like many, many people are deficient. Like probably I'm deficient. You get more deficient as you get older even. So even with horses, like it's just a mineral that we have in our body. And so it's like just a supplement, something to give them to make sure that they're getting everything that they need. So Sam was supposed to be giving them some magnesium and what he ended up giving them was diatomaceous earth. <laughs> Got it? Crystal thing, right? Yeah. It was a thin before. Yeah, we've tried it with thin. So we have quiescence, which is magnesium, and then we also have just like a regular food grade magnesium, which I don't find works. It's like what they give to cows. Anyway, I can't get it open, but this one is magnesium, and this one is also magnesium. <laughs> so we're headed to the barn still, but we made a stop along the way. Suddenly, I'm obsessed with Burritos. I've never ever, like in Canada, we're not burrito people, but all of a sudden these burrito places are popping up everywhere. Like it's not, it, we're like more of a, I don't know, Chinese food place than a burrito place. And now suddenly all these burritos are popping up and I am addicted to burritos now. I never thought it would happen. I hate rice. Suddenly, I like rice. What'd you get? Same as yours. Oh, same as mine, steak with rice and veggies and no beans. Comment below, if you eat burritos, what do you put on your burritos? We need better ideas so we know what we like. It is a blizzard out here. I love the way the horses watch us. Aw, oh, Chino. It's so sad. Chino looking at Gabby. I like to adjust his blanket, make sure he's warm, you okay? I love you have a nice neck on. Do some carrot stretches, watch. This is how good Chino is with carrot stretches. He's a superstar, come on, come on. He knows them already. Like he doesn't even, whoops. He doesn't even try and move his feet because he knows. Chino's like, oh, we'll have some treats. Watch, over this way, wait, hold on. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, good boy. I love you. I love you, handsome man. 
I'm glad you're warm. Are you regretting taking off your neck now, Finny Finn? Is that Storm? All of our bags. Oh, there's our neck. Remember, we couldn't find it in the field? It's in here. I think I've actually figured out how to dress for winter, finally. It took me all these many years, but I finally figured it out. You need clothing with fur inside of it. It's the only way to stay warm. And then you also need socks with fur in them. And I have socks and, I have socks and clothing. Oh, <laughs> I have socks and clothing with fur and it makes all the difference. Unfortunately, I didn't wear the pants with fur today. So I might be cold. Hi, big handsome man. All right. Gep's got the whole thing settled, figured out. <laughs> He's like, I will take supper with me. <laughs> He's not missing lunch for you. <laughs> oh, he's funny. All right, I have a question for you. It's really important, you guys. Uh-oh, wait a minute. I don't even know where the horse ends. What is the meal you have at the end of the day called? Do you call it supper or do you call it dinner? Why are you over here? Hey, you find some food? Got your own little thing? Here, come see me. Storm, it's a storm. Storm! Hi, aren't you riding today? Why are you over here all by yourself? Hey, why are you over here? Isn't he so cute? We love you, Stormy boy. All right, so we're here. I got Sam's big, huge coat on. It looks dirty in the camera. Like when I watch the video back, it looks all spotted and dirty, but in like real life, it just looks normal. I'll wash it though. I'll wash it, you guys. Anyway, we're here at the barn. Our friends just arrived. Brandon just arrived. Finny's that on the has got his champion. Like, Finn wants to be a champion. I think I told you guys. I was on him, he looked at it, and then he had, like, he smiled with his eyes. He smiled with his eyes? Aw. He loves to be a champion. He's a champion jumper. If you're looking for a champion jumper, this boy might be for sale. No. Never. After the summer. Never. Never. The problem is Sophie's gonna need a bigger horse. Like she's gonna have to ride a different horse and she doesn't want Chino because Chino, not she's not a hunter. She wants to do jumpers and she doesn't want to sell them. But the problem is you can't keep every horse, not just for your own benefit. No, like, we're not no, we're not selling him. It takes a lot of work to like move on from horses. It took Gabby a long time to move on from Storm and now she's a pro at it. Hello Finn. I think it's nap time for Finn. So, we all came in the office because the cat <laughs> killed the cat killed a mouse. It's good it's little face. <laughs> the cat killed a mouse on Brandon's coat. Brandon's not very happy. The, we all were looking at the dead mouse head on Brandon's coat. Yeah, Sophie needs to see it now. Right over there, Brandon's coat was there and the cat had lunch there. He likes Brandon's coat. <laughs> Don't you know?